the entire object thing now let us start with dynamic objects management first is understanding what is dynamic object and ways to manage the dynamic object to do that first i am recording the script new script i record after i complete the insert order After I complete the insert order, I need to fax this order. I am inserted the order. Now I am faxing this order. Fax order. In this fax order, I am typing the fax number. I am sending it as a fax. I have recorded the script. The script is ready. I am now base state executing the screen. Executing this number. Run the script now. I save the file as dynamic object. understanding dynamic object i run the script now when it executes he executes up to insert order without an issue you can note that he is now selecting fly from So he is now inserting the order. After inserting the order, he is selecting the fax, menu fax. Once he selected the fax, you can see in line number 12, he is supposed to type in fax order number. The fax order number he not able to identify. The reason is the fax order number object has got changed at the time of recording it was 141 now what you see is 142 see the error message cannot find the fax number objects parent fax order number 141 it is objects parent fax number is not having an issue parent is having an issue Verify that parent properties match an object currently displayed in your application. The script fails to run because the object is changing. I'll say stop. To understand exactly where the problem is, if you are not comfortable, you can use maintenance run mode. There is one run called maintenance run mode. I can use the maintenance run mode. Automation. Maintenance run mode. In automation, maintenance run mode will help you to debug the problem. In case if you are very new to the automation concepts. I click on maintenance run mode. You see now what happens as I click. I run. I got this run settings. Now I click on OK. It executes the same script. Now it is in 
maintenance run mode so he will ask before he generates the object he before he generates the object he now comes up with the problem that you have noticed retry object not visible the first line has to be either activate or a restore so that the pointing hand is always pointing to the main application so it inserts fax order he is now not able to handle the fax number before he sends the error message he sees that you are running it in the maintenance mode he will pop up with one debug window in that window he allows you to do this is the one maintenance run wizard screen object was not found is the error because you have the in maintenance run mode he says this is the line that is having an issue please point the object to in the application so that he manages that point click on point select the object that we want to manage in our case it is fax order number 143 because object's parent have an issue now he comes up and says dialog fax order number 141 text property original value at the time of recording is 141 and current value is 143 this is because of this he is not able to manage whatever the solution he has provided below it may not be valid for the next run so this is an indicator to just understand which property is having a problem in case you have a difficulty in identifying the problem now this is the object this is the property value that has an issue let us try to understand i close this i don't want to solve this using maintenance run mode let us try to understand in a different way in a normal method i know this object is giving me a problem in this object i go to object properties because object properties is the one which gives me what is the recognition properties of an object i have selected the object dialog the object that gives the problem using mouse right click on that object i come to this menu called object properties select that object properties it will now open up the repository recognition method for that object in recognition method you can see now text property native class is own window is shell window out of this pro properties maintenance run mode given an information that text property is having an issue this text property if i manually change next time if i run i know order number is 144 i manually change now to 144 to ensure our understanding is correct if i run the script it should work if it works then we can rest assured the text property is the candidate that we like to manage dynamically the dynamic object being fax order number 141 the property that causes that object dynamic is text and the value is the one which we like to manage so i have now manually changed to 144 because i know the order number that it is going to generate when i run the script is 144 last order number was 143 since it is going to be 144 i am manually changing the text property with 144 i say okay i run the script again this time the expectation is the script to run successfully if i come to the flight reservation window i need to clear it 
you can see the last order was 143 next I clear the screen when a script runs it will create 144 I am running the script I click on run I get the run options I say ok now script is getting executed I'll first correct that problem I stop it so the most important thing is since the first line directly started with the click and that click, click is hidden behind the QTP window so I will add now flight reservation dot restore or this is the one method I can restore means even if it is minimized it will activate it otherwise I have to use activate activate will not min from minimized to maximize it will not do restore is the method which makes that minimize to maximize I am rerunning the script now restore brings that flight reservation in activate mode since it brought the flight reservation activate mode object not visible doesn't appear now because it has QTP as behind flight reservation so he is able to manage it he is typing in the name insert order now you can see I manually change that order number to 144 and 144 is what is being created now you can see he is able to type in the fax number and proceed with sending the fax he is able to manage it so it is successful that means that is the only property which cause that object to be dynamic this is what dynamic object is all about if I run the same script again the script will fail because order number is changed that order number is used as an object property in my next form or a page this is about dynamic object what is dynamic object the next thing is what are all the ways to solve the dynamic object in QTP there are several ways I can manage the dynamic object easy to find might be difficult to solve dynamic object or this dynamic what is dynamic object object changes its properties identification properties is very important during run time then the existing identification properties fails to recognize the object and hence we call this as dynamic object to solve this we need to know which object is dynamic which property of the object causing the object dynamic these two parts are very important once you identify this ways to solve the dynamic object there are several ways one of the way is set to property the second regular expression third shared repository parameter fourth smart identification fifth manually 
change manipulation manual manipulation of repository you can use any of the five available ways to solve the dynamic object in the next session what we are going to see each of the ways how do we use in our dynamic object.